Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 Metro. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 031 underscore DIAB underscore N. You can also download this file from the website. Click the file tab and hover the mouse cursor to save us and select project. You name this file to 00 underscore 032 underscore DIAB underscore M and click the save button. Go to the project browser and double click the ground floor view to open this view. Click into the drawing area, hold the mouse wheel forward to zoom in. Right click the reference plane and select grid similar. Go to the draw panel and click the pick line command. Set the offset distance to 375 millimeter. Pick this wall, this wall, this wall, and this wall. Zoom in, pick this sketch line, this sketch, this reference plane, this reference plane, and this reference plane. Click this bubble to move it down. Change the offset distance to 150 millimeter. Pick this reference plane, this reference plane, this reference plane and this reference plane. Click the modify button to get out of the command. Select this reference plane, click this bubble and extend it to the core face of this wall. Click, select this reference plane, click this bubble to extend it to the face of core face of this wall. Select this reference plane, click to move it down. With the reference plane select, still selected, go to the grid panel and select the grid similar command. Start a reference plan from this intersection and draw this reference plane to this vertex. Start another reference plane from this point and move it to move it anywhere around this area. Start another one from this endpoint of this reference plane and draw it approximately at this angle. You can correct it, the angle later with the dimension command. Start another line reference plane from this point to the core face of this wall. Click the modify button. Now select this reference plane and extend it to the core of this wall. Go to the measure panel and click the down arrow and select the angular dimension. Select this reference plane and this reference plane. Move the mouse cursor out and click to place the dimension. Click the modify button. Select this reference plane. Change this angle to 30 degree and press enter. Click the modify button to deselect. Select the angular dimension command. Measure angle. Click on this reference plane and this reference plane. Move out to place the dimension. Click the modify button. Select this reference plane and change the angle to 30 degree. Press enter. Click the modify button. Select this dimension and hit delete on your keyboard. Select this reference plane and click on this circle to extend it to the core face of this wall. Select the angular dimension command. Select this reference plane and this reference plane. Then this reference plane. Move the mouse cursor out to place the dimension. Click the modify button. Select this reference plane and make sure that the value is 22.5. Press enter. Click the modify button. Select this reference plane, go to the modify panel and select the mirror pick axis command. Click on this reference plane to mirror this reference plane to the other side. Click the modify button. Right click the reference plane, grid similar. Go to draw panel and select the pick line command. Change the offset distance to 200 mm. Offset this line to the left. Click on this circle and snap it to this horizontal reference plane. Zoom in. Pick this line to offset it to the left again. Continue until you fill this area with the with reference plane with the same length. Pick this reference plane, offset this reference, reference plane down and click on this circle to snap it to the other reference plane. Copy one more down. Copy the, this reference plane down and copy and change Click on this circle and move this reference plane to this reference plane. 
snap it to this other reference plane. Change your offset distance to 300 millimeter. Offset this reference plane down. Click the modify button. Select the middle reference plane. Click on this circle to snap it to this re other reference plane. Select this reference plane. Click on this bubble and snap it to this other reference plane. Now I'll go to the architectural tab, circulation panel, and select the steer command. Click the edit type, change the maximum rising height to 200 millimeter and maximum thread depth to 200 millimeter and change the width to 750 millimeter. Click apply, click OK. Click the down arrow and change the base level to top of foundation. Review the calculation in advance and you see that we have the desired number is 18 steers. Go to the component panel and click the grid by sketch command. With the boundary highlighted, click in the draw panel and select the pick line button. Pick the surface of this wall, this wall, this wall, this wall, this reference plane, this reference plane this reference plane. Go to draw panel and select the circle option. Start a circle from this point to this point. Draw another circle from this point and the radius to this reference plane. Click the modify button. In Revit, when you draw a circle, actually Revit draw two arc and join them together to form a circle. Now select this arc, which is part of the circle. Hold down the control key and select this arc. Hit delete on your keyboard. Go to the modify panel and select trim extend to corner. Select this line and select this arc. Select this arc and select this line. Select this and this. This arc and this line. Click the select the trim extend multiple elements. Click on this reference plane and extend this. Click this to trim it. Click into the drawing area. Now select this reference plane. Click to trim this boundary and this boundary go to the draw panel and select the riser option go to the draw panel again and select the pick line command pick this continue to pick until you pick all of the reference plane go to the modify panel and select slip element command split this riser select the trim extend multiple elements select this boundary click on this object this 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 and this click into the drawing area click to select this boundary click this to trim 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 now when you look at this text it says 18 greeted zero remaining which means we have completed our staircase we need to do a a little work in this area to make our stair look fancy Select the riser option and select the pick line command. Set the offset to 100 millimeter. Offset this up. Select the, the start end arc radius. Click on this end point and the end point of this line. Move out and snap to 200 millimeter. Do the same thing in this side and move to snap to 200 millimeter. Click the modify button. Select this riser and hit delete on your keyboard. Select the trim extend to corner, zoom in into this area, select this boundary and the riser, select this boundary and this riser. Click the green check mark to see the results. We get an error. We need to manually sketch the path. So click cancel, select the steer path command and click the pick line button. Pick this reference plane, this reference plane, this reference plane, this reference plane. Select the trim extend to corner, select this and this, select the trim extend single element, select the riser and click to trim this part, select this riser, click this part to trim it, click the green check mark to see the results, click the green check mark again. Now select the stairs, you see the stairs run on the wrong direction, click this arrow to turn the slope into the other, to the opposite side. Go to the project browser, 3D view, double click the 3D view ground floor to see the result. Hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit. Now right click this view and select duplicate. Duplicate. 
right click this view and select the new duplicate the copy and select to rename you see Revit give it a name with the old copy one added at the end of the original name let's rename this 3d view ground floor at back stairs click ok now with this view active click on this crop view select this arrow to move it down to see the results and click on this to move it into this direction to crop this view select this wall hold down the control key and this wall click the down arrow and select hide elements hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit select the section box and click on this arrow click on this arrow and move it inside now select this now select the section box click the down arrow and select hide elements select this railing the reading that's run through the wall and hits delete on your keyboard. The stair is being complete. Sometimes when you have a complex stair that you cannot greet with a stair command, with the automatic stair command, you can use the sketch and sketch the stairs. That can help to get the desired result. Alright, I'm going to end this tutorial. We'll continue this tutorial in the next video. If you like this tutorial, please click the like button and share it to your friends. If you have any question, please leave a comment below. If you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next class. Goodbye.